if you have a way to create a battery that's 100 times cheaper than lithium, it's going to be crucial for gigawatt hour scale batteries, right? And it's all solid state. There's no flammable liquids. Mm -hmm. So it's inherently safer if you want to make build, building sized versions of this. Don't let the uh, AI overlords get a handle on this. Yeah. This is a new paper out of the University of Chicago and UC San Diego that was published in the paper Jewel. Just Jewel. Just Jewel. Or I didn't even know that sodium batteries were like a, a, thing. a competing platform to lithium. This is trying to get us there. Okay. Sodium is the hair apparent, right? It's right below lithium on the periodic table. It's the sixth most common element. It's a thousand times more abundant than lithium. It's ba like it's in salt, right? NaCl. Yes. Sodium chloride is salt. So you can extract it from rock salt. You can extract it out of the ocean. This thing is bigger. Yes. So for three times the mass, yes. I have the same amount of charge. Yeah. Obviously, the energy density is going to be lower, yeah, right? That makes sense. Uh, kinetically, it's very sluggish. The larger nuclei means that the sodium is going to move slower in the in the battery itself, right? right? If you've got a larger thingy, That's then good. that thing's going to move slower. And so my total power output is going to be lower, right? So despite its abundance, all of this means that the, like, the efficiency of a similarly sized sodium battery system yeah. as compared to a lithium ion system is just going to be inefficient exactly and we've gotten used to our iphones being a certain size exactly and so and so the, the all of these problems are persisting right that doesn't mean that sodium could still not be valuable okay okay because fine maybe not for the iphone okay okay but battery has a lot more usage than just our electronics for example if you've thought about stationary battery power right if you've got like a giant electrical grid, if you're trying to do renewables, right? And you, and you have a giant solar panel array, but now it's like cloudy. You want to be able to store all of the all of the sunlight from when it was actually sunny to then use when it's cloudy, right? All of these stationary sto storage parts, it doesn't really matter mm. if it's bigger. Right. Right. Yeah, 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 if it's yeah, yeah. cheaper. Yeah. That's, That's what, what matters. matters. That's actually right? a really good point. Yeah. yeah. And th there's a lot of broad implications to this kind of stuff because... You know, one can imagine you can like totally start reshaping the grid right. around a capability like this, mm -hmm. right? If you have the 